Hi, Mike here. Welcome back to Paz Model Workbench. Uh, I know it's been quite a while. I've uh, had a lot going on. My wife's uh, health issues have taken up a lot of our time. Uh, fortunately, I, depending on how you look at it, it looks like uh, we'll be having a little bit more time lately because the doctors have kind of run out of ideas. So uh, they're saying that we're probably just going to have to live with this, which means uh, blood draws couple times a week and uh, transfusions when she needs them and uh, at least for the time being but she's doing okay so that's good uh, as the uh, thumbnail shows I've got a mail call today uh, very small stash ads um, and uh, an update on my big rig group build which is way way behind schedule of course um, but it's coming along and hopefully I'll get more time to work on it now um, so uh, let me start out with the mail call. Uh, first, I got shop cards from Greg's Dioramas and Scale Models. And they're, uh, they're the, the business card size. And there's that one first. This is for his YouTube page. And he builds just some outstanding dioramas. Uh, he builds... Uh, all, uh, runs a gamut of, of military battles from the uh, First World War, Second World War, up to current times, current conflicts, up to the Ukraine conflict. Uh, and he does a fabulous job with them. It just just amazing. Uh, haven't seen anything new from him for I don't know, a couple of weeks, I don't think, but I think he's maybe in the process of moving. But if, if you haven't uh, checked him out, again, it's Greg's dioramas and scale, scale models. Um, I first, I think I first learned about him from Charlie Mack. He did a, a shout out for him. And, and like I said, it's, it's just great to see that. In addition to that, he has a podcast that he does with some friends, Micro Machines Podcasts. And a lot of you guys would probably be interested in that is they, uh, each podcast, they take a tank and they just, uh, spend a day, uh, podcast discussing the tank and, uh, giving details on it and so on. So if you haven't checked him out yet, be sure and do so. I'll leave a link in the description below. The second card I got is from Tom. Everybody knows Tom. I got his new card. And uh, of course, like I said, everybody knows Tom. He's probably the one, certainly one of the top very few builders on YouTube, in my opinion. He just does some beautiful, beautiful work. If you ever want to know how something should look when it's done, just check out his models. They're fantastic. So I want to thank both of those guys for the uh, shop cards. I really appreciate it. And uh, so after, uh, after that, I guess I have a new kit that I got for Father's Day from my son and his family down in Georgia. And it's the Saturn V rocket. It's the 1 144th scale, which I think is about two and a half feet tall. Um, so I'm looking forward. I think I will save that for probably the March into Space group build next uh, spring, I think it is. So that's when I'll be doing that one. Um, and then the other thing I have to show you for my stash ad, I'm going to have to change the camera around because it's a little hard to to show you in this format. My daughter and son-in-law got me this kit for Father's Day, and it's a, uh, I would show you the box, but the box is just a black box. It doesn't show anything on the outside, but it's kind of, uh, I don't want to say Legos, but it's that type of construction. Um, and it's, I got the instructions here. And it builds into this uh, indie type car Formula One, whatever it is, I'm not sure. If it's not stock car racing, I don't much know about it anymore. But, um, and it's, uh, I believe, 20 or 22 inches long when it's done. And the instruction booklet uh, is fairly thick <laughs> and shows that there is quite a bit, sorry for the camera movement, but there's quite a bit to it, that's for sure. And I think. Uh, this will be just uh, something that I work on as time goes on. It did come with the stickers for it too. They were damaged up, up here when it came in and uh, 
they've contacted the company and they're sending out a new set of stickers for it. So I'm um, looking forward to kind of working on that at uh, my leisure, maybe while I'm waiting for paint to dry and glue to dry on some of my other kits. So uh, let me get my uh, big rig out here and show you where I am with that now. So try this again, number five, I think. Hopefully the phone won't fall over this time. Uh, this is the progress I've made on the big rig build. I uh, got the interior done. I don't know how well we can see that. Let's throw a little bit more light on it. Very plain Jane, just a um, kind of a sand color seats. White steering wheel and the black anti-glare top of the dash there. And I did the body in... Uh, in the TS7, I think it is, racing white. Um, I'm going to make it a two-tone with a red color. I'm just not sure yet uh, what's going to be red and what's going to be white. I'm still thinking about that. And in the chassis, I got the engine done. Um, in the chassis, it's all complete. It's not a rolling chassis. I glue my wheels on because... I'm not going to roll it or play with it, and uh, I just feel like it's safer if I have the wheels so they're not rolling. I uh, didn't want to go with just the solid colored chassis, which I think is probably more correct. So I did differentials in black and the rest of the chassis in a gunmetal, to me a gunmetal. The engine's just kind of the nondescript beige, of course. And um, I did the wheels. I, they were, you know, they're such shiny chrome. Um, it's not going to show up very well. But I sprayed them with a, a dull coat. It's actually not dull coat brand, but I really liked the way they turned out. I don't know if it's showing up very well in here, but they're just exactly what I was looking for. And what I used was this. Uh, Acrylic Seal is matte finish Aline's, and uh, it worked really well. You have to be careful with it though, because um, if you spray it on too heavy, I did that on a scrap piece, and uh, it just doesn't look good at all. It just clouds it too much. So you got to put a light coat on, but uh, it seems to work great. Anyway, that's uh, that's my progress on the big rig, and hopefully I'll be back to you very soon with. Uh, much more progress on it so um, until then I'll, be, I'll probably be doing another video within the next day or two for uh, another group build that I'm going to announce um, so I will talk to you then um, thanks for watching I really appreciate everybody that subscribes and love reading those comments and um, just appreciate all you guys immensely so thanks for watching and uh, until next time uh, have a good uh, weekend ahead. Bye.